Hi, I'm Bob Alsop with ShopSaber CNC. Around here they call me Router Bob. It's time for another Router Bob out and about trip. Today we're going to Folsom, California and we're going to meet David Queen Sr. He has a really unique ShopSaber CNC story. Let's get started. I find it challenging. That's why I made the guitar, because I just found it to be challenging. I don't know how to play the freaking thing. <laughs> Hello. Oh, shut up. Lost everything I'm thinking of. <laughs> Cut it there. <laughs> so when I started uh, woodworking, it was in the seventh grade. Um, and I enjoyed it so much, I took it in the eighth grade and took it all the way through high school and became uh, really good at it. And by the time I was in the 12th grade, I really enjoyed it so much, I didn't want to leave class, so I just took wood shop all the whole 12th grade. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It's been a passion of mine ever since I was a kid. I eventually, uh, I've always been, uh, a finance manager my whole career, uh, but I did get to a point in my life where I wanted to spend more time with my family and I wanted to have a, uh, a business of my own that could be a family business. So I started thinking about opening up a cabinet shop, and but it was scary because um, when you're going from a, a large salary job to a, the unknown, uh, it's a scary proposition to think about, um, but after missing all, so much time with my children as they were growing up, it was something that I really needed to do. And so I decided I'm going to follow my passion and leave a high paying job and start a cabinet shop. <laughs> so back in 2005, uh, I decided uh, to bite the bullet and take a chance and start my own business. And uh, I have no regrets about that. It was, it was a lot of fun. But when I started the business, I didn't have a CNC router. Uh, I just had my hand tools and table saws and, and started taking on uh, jobs uh, doing residential cabinets. And soon quickly realized uh, that I was limited on how many jobs I can take and because you can only build so many parts in a day, uh, you know, using tools. Um, I realized I really needed a CNC router and uh, so I needed to do some homework and do some, but I didn't have a whole lot of time to do the homework, but I did. And I went to the IWF and was blown away by what I saw and uh, went there thinking I was gonna get one particular brand of CNC router and ended up being talked into a different one. And uh, It was an Italian made machine and nothing wrong with the machine, it was a wonderful machine, but when you do need tech support, uh, that's the part that's the problem. <laughs> uh, tech support's uh, on the other side of the country or on the other side of the world, I should say. Um, you have to get up at two o'clock in the morning to be able to call them when they're open at nine o'clock in the morning to be able to get somebody on the phone to help you with tech support. And then when you do get somebody, they barely speak English. And I certainly don't speak any Italian. So um, that was uh, troublesome, especially when you need tech support. Uh, I was no longer in the shop any longer. I was no longer following my passion. It was, I can't tell you, the last time I was in my shop doing woodwork, I was in my office stuck constantly on the phones, managing employees. It became not the fun that I started the business for. Uh, so I decided I, I've had enough and decided to go back into uh, the finance field. Um, but I've never lost that love for woodworking. And I've always kept woodworking as my passion. 
and to this day I'll keep it as my passion. Uh, I find that if I do it as a hobby, I love it even more. Um, and that's the way I want to keep it. Um, but the technology on these machines are just incredible and I knew I needed to do some... Uh, if I'm going to keep it as a hobby, I wanted to have a CNC router in my shop. And I needed to do some research on some of the uh, CNC routers that are available because it's been a long time since a CNC router I had back in 2005. So here it is 2018 and I want a new CNC router for my own shop. So I needed to do some research. I've, I've, but this time I didn't want somebody to sell me one. I wanted to sell myself one. So I went out and uh, started looking. I looked at all, uh, I can't tell you a thousand different brands I've looked at, uh, all the way from really, really crappy ones to <laughs> really nice ones. But um, I even flew out to Idaho to look at some of And I can tell you some of these things, they're not welded together. They're, they're bolted like a bunch of Legos. <laughs> and they want a ton of money for these things. Uh, so, but then I found Shop Saber and I was thinking space, but as the more I thought about it, the more I realized, you know, as a hobby, I still want to be able to make anything that I want to make. If I want to make uh, new kitchen cabinets, or if I want to make a guitar, or if I want to make a rocking chair. It doesn't matter what I want to make, I want to be able to have the capability of doing that. And I didn't want my hands tied by buying a small machine and regretting not going with a larger machine. So as I looked at these larger machines, I was looking at all of these other ones that were Lego systems bolted together, not welded together. And they're wanting just as much, sometimes $20,000 more than the machine. And I can honestly tell you with this shop saber, to me, the value is there. Uh, I don't want a machine that's uh, made cheaply. I want one that's made stout, strong, and made in the USA. And I want to be able to deal with USA tech support. Uh, I met uh, Brandon at the uh, show in uh, IWF this uh this year, in fact, just last month. Uh, what a great bunch of people. Um, I highly recommend this machine. Uh, this machine, when I ordered this machine, I, after knowing enough about CNC routers, I knew I wanted uh, the uh, T-Tracks, so I wanted the hybrid uh, bed. I wanted the pop-up pins. Um, so it's a lot easier to be able to put sheet goods on there and line them up perfectly each and every time. I, I had that on my other machine, so I know what those were like. I know what the value is. I really love having the 10 tool change system on my uh, router, uh, the auto tool changer. Uh, I even ordered it with a fourth axis because I want the capability of being able to do anything I want to do. And I never had a fourth axis on my other CNC router. And I got to tell you, it's fun. <laughs> it is truly fun. I got to turn my first turn uh, yesterday. Um, this is uh, going to be a kitchen island um, or an island post that goes on my kitchen. I'm just starting the remodel of my kitchen. Uh, and uh, so I designed this on the uh, Aspire software and cut it out yesterday and I'm gonna cut out another one today. And um, I just got, uh, I'm in the middle of uh, uh, cutting out uh, a Sam Maloof uh, rocking chair. And um, I'm just gonna be doing all kinds of fun things. And to me, it, being able to do fun things is, is the key. So if you are, thinking about getting a CNC router, don't hesitate, just get one. And get one that's going to have an, all the equipment, fourth axis, get everything. Um, you won't regret it. I don't regret it. It's not gonna cost you any more than an employee. In fact, it's gonna cost you 
far less than one employee and it's going to be safer and it's not going to call in sick. Yeah, I'm not going to have to pay workman's comp on it. And I just love the fact that if I do, when I do retire, which I will, uh, when I do retire, I want to be able to use the machine any way I want to be able to use it. I don't want my hands tied to a small machine where I can't build cabinets if I decide to go back and build in cabinets. I want something that is there ready for me whenever I need to use it. I want to be able to make small things, big things, and things in between. And I, I can't stress how enough uh, how much I love uh, the Shop Saber uh, CNC router. I've I looked at all kinds of different ones and you can't beat the value and you can't beat the uh, the durability of this machine and the technology on it. And I just, I love it. Don't hesitate, go out and get one. I want to thank David for opening his shop and sharing his really unique Shop Saber CNC story. And I hope this encourages some of you that maybe you're thinking about doing the same thing. If you have any questions, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. Thank you for watching.